Hi, this is Mike with OnPoint Software. Welcome to our free demo to show you how to link your Sage Timberland Office core module data to Microsoft Access. We're going to start off by quickly showing you the basics to link your tables in, and then we'll follow up with some additional information for those who want to hang out. Uh, we'll talk about some tips and tricks, and also uh, where to go to get more information. Let's get started. As you can see, I've got a Microsoft Access database open. It's a brand new, newly created file. Uh, no tables, no queries. And I'm on the Home tab. To link to our Sage Timberline Core Module data, I'll have to click on the External Data tab. And then from there, in the Import group, click on the More button. From there, click on ODBC Database. Now I've got two options here. I can either import or link, and we'll talk more about those uh, later. For now, click on link. Hit link and hit OK. This screen should be fairly familiar to you. This is a list of the DSNs that are created, and we set up this DSN called free in a previous uh, tutorial. If this isn't familiar, to, uh, familiar to you, you want to go back and review that tutorial so that uh, you know what your choices are here and how to set these up. So hit free and then hit OK. At this point we are prompted for our login credentials in Timberline and I'll hit OK. And now the system's doing a little thinking. Uh, Access is going through that ODBC DSN uh, making a call to the data. It's bringing the data back through that pointer and bringing up these quote-unquote linked tables for us to pick and choose the ones that we want. Now let's say we want to bring in our AP Master vendors. Uh, to do that, locate that table, highlight it, and click OK. That's it. As you can see now, we've got a new table added, AP Master Vendor. If I click on that table and open it up, I've got that table and all of the fields that are available in that part of the database. And that's it. Congratulations. You have linked a Timberline table into Microsoft Access. Let's talk about a couple of tips and tricks. Uh, we're doing this with uh, Microsoft Office 2007 and as you saw the way that we get to our external data is to click on the more button under external data. If you're in Office 2003 the way that you'll do that, do that and to demo this I'm going to go ahead and close these close these tables is in the this will be white space in 2003 if you're on that version there you'll simply right click right click and you'll have an option there to uh, import or link data tables so that's how you do it in 2003. Also, uh, when you uh, bring this table in to Microsoft Access, you'll end up bringing in this table, you'll create queries, perhaps additional tables. You'll have a lot of uh, items on the left to choose from. Uh, the way that you tell the, the linked tables, the ones that are a live link to your Timberline Office data, are the ones with the little world. See the little world right there? You can also see how I hover over it. You can see ODBC, the DSN is equal to free, and it's giving the path of the data. That can be very, very important if you've got uh, different data folders and uh, trying to figure out which, uh, which one you're looking at. Off to the right, under the, under the data path, where it says code page equal 1252, dictionary mode equals 0, standard mode equals 1, that's telling you the attributes of your DSN that you used. So if you have to set up that same DSN on another, on another machine, to use this access database, you've got that information here that uh, tells you how it was set up. A bit more about importing versus linking to our Timberline data. Remember when we were on our external data tab and then clicked on more ODBC database, we had the choice to either import or to link. Nine times out of ten, you will probably link. Linking is a live link to whatever that data source is, in this case Timberline. Uh, it's a live link. Uh, if you change data in Timberline, which, which of course we do as we do our processes, the next time we run our queries 
or whatever it is we're doing in Access, uh, the it'll, it'll reflect that current data, that changed data. It's a live link. Importing al alternatively is bringing in the data as a static snapshot. So if we have five invoices at the time we bring our data in, that's what's imported. If we've added, say, four more to Timberline, the next time we go into Access, it'll still show the five. It'll show what we imported at that time. It will not change as Timberline data changes. In closing, uh, we talked a bit about ODBC here. We cover that in great detail in our Crystal and in our ODBC courses, and we'll talk about those in just a couple of minutes here. We've also got a free tutorial that gives you the basics on how to set that up so that you've got everything you need to get started. Version of Sage Timberline Office Core Modules. We did this on 9.6. Uh, the the uh, ability to do it and the way that you do it is really unchanged from version 1.0 of Timberline. Uh, now, Microsoft Access has changed uh, with those products and the way that we import or link into those products has changed, but the functionality and the basic fundamentals uh, have not changed. Version of Office, we talked about that a moment ago. We've, we've done this on Office 2007. If you go back to 2003 or prior, the way you do that will, will change up a bit. But again, the same functionality is all there. DSNs. Uh, again, we used a DSN called free. There's no, there's no magic to that word free. We, that's just what I chose to use. If you want to make this access program or, or, or database available for other people, you'll have to set up that same DSN on those machines so they can link to the stow data. Those DSNs have to be the same name and have the same settings so that these files will work on the other machines. Probably most important, where to go to get more information. We teach very, very uh, in-depth and detailed ODBC and access topics in many different conferences. We, we're at the Sage Timberline Summit User Conference where we've done ODBC as well, in, as, well as using access to make your life easier. Uh, we teach at the at the Tug Conference, the Sage or the Timberline User Group. Uh, also, consultant conferences, so that your consultants are, are ramping up on on how on how to help you use these valuable tools. Also, please remember, uh, Sage Timberline offers many online learning opportunities. Uh, contact your business partner and or your consultant to learn about those online learning opportunities or things that they might offer. Also, so there are a lot of places to go to get more information. Thank you for attending. We appreciate your time. Hope you get a lot out of it. Uh, please, please, please visit our website. Tell us what you thought about this tutorial. We pay very close attention to your feedback. We strive to make constant improvement to improve the quality of what you're getting to make the most value of your time and help you get the most value out of your software. Thank you. Have a great day.